In this video, we'll show you how to set up Surfshark on your iOS device. Let's get started. To download the app, open the App Store. Now search for Surfshark. It should appear as the first result. After that, tap on this button to start the download. And then tap on Open. After launching the app, select Existing User Login over here. Enter your registered email and password. Then click Login. Welcome to Surfshark. To begin, tap on the Quick Connect button. Since it's your first time connecting, the app will ask for permissions. So tap Continue and then select Allow. If your connection is successful, you'll see the protected status. Now let's check out Surfshark's VPN features, starting with the Locations tab located here. Currently, there's over 95 countries for you to connect to, so you'll definitely find the one that's best for you. And since there are so many locations to choose from, you'll find this star button very useful. Tap on it to favorite a country. Now it'll appear at the top of the list, making it easier for you to find. At the top, you can also access static IP and multi-hop locations. Static IP servers allow you to always get the same IP address when you connect the VPN. Surfshark's multi-hop feature, on the other hand, will connect you via two different countries to increase your privacy and security. You can also access additional Surfshark VPN features by going to Settings and then tapping on VPN Settings. At the very top, you'll see the option to customize your Quick Connect button. You can make it so it connects you to the fastest server, nearest country, or a particular server. If you want Surfshark to automatically connect you to a VPN upon launching the app, toggle the Auto Connect feature. Surfshark also has a neat feature called Clean Web. It'll block ads, trackers, and malware when you're surfing online. The Kill Switch feature will disable your internet connection if your VPN connection drops unexpectedly. This way, none of your sensitive data will be exposed. This feature is enabled by default. Here, you can also customize your VPN protocols. Surfshark will automatically pick the best one for you based on your device and network. That being said, if you're having any connection issues, you can try changing your VPN protocol in this menu. Lastly, in the Advanced Settings, you'll find IP Rotator. When enabled, it'll rotate your VPN IP address, making you even harder to trace online. On the bottom, if you tap on One, you can also access more Surfshark features. First is Alert. This handy tool can monitor and alert if your email, credit card, or ID has been part of a breach database and notify you to take action. Before you can use Alert, you must enable two-factor authentication on your Surfshark account. A video on how to enable it can be found in the description below. Once you have 2FA enabled on your account, select Alert. From here, you can choose what you want to monitor, emails, credit cards, or IDs. Let's add our email for data breach monitoring. Select Monitor Emails, enter the email address you want to add to Alert, and click Activate. After that, head to your email inbox and look for a confirmation letter. Open it and tap on Monitor This Email Address. Now you'll see which websites were breached with that specific email. Remember to change your password as soon as possible if any breaches were found. Finally, let's check out Surfshark Search. Search is a powerful tool which allows you to get purely organic search results online, free from ads and tracking. Using search is very simple. In this field, enter whatever you wish to look for and you'll get a list of search results. You can also select which region you want your searches in. For example, you can change it so all results appear as if you were searching from Finland or any other country. And with that being said, you now know everything about how to use Surfshark on your iOS device. If you found this video helpful, remember to subscribe and tap the like button. By the way, if you want to set up your other devices, then please check our full tutorial playlist.